My name's Craig Campbell. Been on the railway 22 years, since I was 16. Been a driver for nearly 16 years, so what I'm about to tell you, well, you might say, you should have known better. And yeah, I certainly should. I've had a good career up till now. Never had a spad. Always kept out of trouble. So I'm working this train from Bletchley to Bedford. The conductor's a bloke named Kevin Ryan. I often work with Kev. He's all right. Always has plenty to say, but he's all right. There's nobody for Kempston Hardwick, Craig. Right, Kev. Okay. Tickets, please. What's up? Tickets. I'm Kevin Ryan. I've been a conductor for over 20 years. Before that, I was a signalman. I've never been in any sort of bother to work. I was one of the senior men at my depot. I reckon myself to be very experienced. So nothing prepared me for what's about to happen. Up ahead, I can see Kempston Hardwick platform and the starter of danger. Also, there's a lad on the down platform waiting for our train. As I'm breaking to a stop, I see there's a bloke in a yellow vest on the up platform. On an earlier trip, there were some P-Way guys between here and St John's, seeing to a broken fish plate, I think. So now I'm thinking this bloke, who's now crossing the track in front of me, must be something to do with the P-Way gang. I'm Dave Harris. I've been on the railway for 23 years. I now work for Network Rail, and I'm a qualified COS, PICOP and machine controller. Earlier this morning I was working on another job about 10 miles from here as the COS. Well, they sent me over here as a bit of an emergency because the automatic barrier had failed and I'm supposed to operate it manually. Then when the barriers are down, the red lights flashing and the warbler sounding, I'm supposed to give a green flare to the train driver. The only problem is they didn't tell me what I was doing until I got here and well I haven't got any flags with me. I suppose I'll have to tell him. I've forgotten my flags. Will you be okay to go on my verbal? Yeah, I suppose so. Just this once. Okay. What was all that about? I think he's been sent to flag the signal, but he's got no flags. That's not bloody good enough. I know. I don't want to drop him in it. Where's he gone now then? I don't know. Want to speak to the box, I suppose. Why didn't you use the SPT? Isn't it handy enough? Well, how do I know? Look, he's coming back. Why has he got a cross armband on? Everything all right, mate? Is it all right to go? Yep, it's fine. It's all right to go. Is he saying it's okay to go? Yeah, the geezer said it's all right to go. You can go. As I pulled out of Kempston Hardwick, I had an uneasy feeling. It just didn't feel right. Kevin was now standing next to me, by the cab door. I think I should have spoken to the power box myself, Kev. Craig, he clearly said we were okay to go. At this point, Kevin went back into the train to take the fare of the lad who had just got on. The next thing I see is the distant Mike Victor 33 Romeo. It's at caution. Now I'm definitely feeling uneasy. Sure enough, Mike Victor 33, the next stop signal, is on. Now I know I'm in trouble.
well. East panel signaller. This is the driver of 2 Sierra 15 standing at Mike Victor 33 signal. Hello driver 2 Sierra 15 from Mike Victor 33. Uh, I've got an indication on the panel here that you passed Mike Victor 31 signal at danger. When I heard that those two blokes had been involved in the spad, I knew instantly it was down to me. I didn't know that the signal was at danger. I didn't even look at the signal. I was sent there as a level crossing attendant, and that's all. But I know in my heart, I should never have been doing that job without the flags. I should never have gone onto the platform by the signal on me. I realise only too clearly now that those two blokes thought that I was the hand signal, and that when I told them that it was okay to go, they thought that I was telling them to pass the signal at danger. I feel really bad about this, because I know Craig wasn't happy about that bloke with no flags. When he told us it was okay to go, well, I think Craig would have phoned the signal if it hadn't been for me. I'm saying, yeah, he's saying it's all right to go. Why did I do that? I wish I just kept my mouth shut. The only reason I was working the doors from the front car of the train was because of the short platform. Otherwise, I'd have been at the back. If Craig had been on his own up the front, I'm sure this would never have happened. I wish I'd said nothing. I feel really cut off about what happened. I just can't believe I did a thing like that. If I'd have heard that story from another driver, I'd have said, how could you possibly have been so daft? I would have been sure nothing like that could ever happen to me. When I think back, everything about it was wrong. The bloke I took to be a hand signaller had no flags. When he asked me if I'd take his verbal instruction, I agreed because I didn't want to drop him in it. But even then, he never once said, I'm giving you authority to pass Mike Victor 3-1 at danger. And even though I felt uneasy about the whole thing, I never went to the SPT. Why not? It was only 10 feet away, for goodness sake. Poor old Kevin's beating himself up over this, saying it's all his fault because he encouraged me to go. Maybe he did, but I was the driver. It's my responsibility to get the job done right, and I got it well and truly wrong. What would you have done?